The 2020 Democrat primary is turning into an absolute circus, and CNN is being brutally mocked for making it even worse. <laughs> CNN losing even more credibility and turning it into a game show network by revealing the upcoming debate lineups like this. We want to randomly draw candidates. I'm going to take them and mix them up so that we can then draw from the candidate box. Another shuffle. Mix them up. And I'm going to give these a good mix. I'm going to give them a good shuffle. And place them into the debate night box. We have multiple camera views. You can watch the camera above me overhead. Now, I won't look into the box, but you can look into the box through the overhead camera. Let's start to pick the candidates. Wow. <laughs> tough, tough to watch. Uh, because there's so many candidates, it's broken into two nights. Facing off on night one, Bernie Sanders and Liz Warren will battle to see who's the biggest socialist. Uh -huh. And Greg and I are particularly happy about this. Marianne Williamson will join them on stage to spread the love. And the second night features a rematch between Biden and Kamala Harris. We'll see if Sleepy Joe will actually fight back this time. Greg, I hadn't actually seen it because I don't watch CNN until <laughs> then. I think they made it less interesting. It's, it is amazing. The serious music made it even funnier. CNN is officially the carnival news network. They already had the clowns. Yes. Now they got the attractions. They need to add a dunk tank, a pie eating contest, a ring toss where uh, Don Lemon could toss rings under Chris Cuomo's head. You know what <laughs> CNN is? I feel like I'm being too mean Go or ahead. not mean enough. I'll no, I'll keep going. It. CNN is the network without close friends. Because close friends tell you when you're making a fool out of yourself, you know, hey, that's an obvious toupee wolf, or, you know, Chris, you're not funny. People like will come and tell you that your fly's down or, or whatever, or you need mouthwash. But nobody's telling CNN that you, you guys look like idiots when you do this stuff. You're saying stuff. like MSNBC should be like, hey, guys, yes. I want to knock that off. You got some cabbage between your no, teeth. Headline News Network should be, cooked, should be to knock them on the door. Lisa, what do you think the strategy was here? Was it just trying to grab ratings or was it to show transparency? Well, probably a little bit of both, but primarily for ratings. And apparently this special was literally called The Draw. I didn't watch it either, but I read the Washington Post write up about it. They had an eight person panel analyzing like every move throughout the entire hour. Um, you had multiple people pulling the cards and figuring out which candidate would be on what night. So absolutely ridiculous. But on the <laughs> substance, what I'm interested in looking at for the debate is how badly diminished Biden and Bernie are by product of who they're on the stage with. Because remember last time, Harris did some, Kamala Harris did some major damage right. to uh, Joe Biden. And then also, if you have Bernie on the stage with Elizabeth Warren, someone who basically has the exact same policy positions, but who's younger and more interesting, uh, I mean, you could see how that could hurt him significantly. Uh, there was a racial uh, angle to this whole mess, uh, and one of the CNN analysts actually commented on it. Let's watch it, and Juan can respond. Why Juan? It's also worth noting in this, the most diverse field the Democratic Party right. has ever yeah. had, all the first night are white candidates, yeah. and the racial diversity <coughs> is entirely uh, in the second night, which mm -hmm. just uh, changes the dynamic, especially because, obviously, Race has been a front and center issue in America this week. It has been in this campaign. It, it is an issue that is sort of coursing through this Democratic primary. What do you think about that one? Does that mean CNN's racist then, if they had the first debate? Yes. They called the, he <laughs> called their the network rules racist. These days? Yeah. Like, it isn't the rules. Boy, I tell you, you guys see race in everything. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, someone clip that. <laughs> Say, I, this was a, you know, so the, all the silliness that CNN did that you guys rightly have mocked them for, <laughs> it was a transparent operation. It was, you could see what was going on. There was no bias implicit. What kind of criticism or critique is that and of his own network? I don't know. To me, it was obvious, you know, that the real news here is, as Lisa was saying, you're going to have uh, Kamala Harris once again up against Joe Biden. So it's going to be the redo in Detroit, right? Mm -hmm. And you want to know what's going to happen. He said he wasn't prepared last time. Let's see if he's prepared this time. But he's also going to have Cory Booker on that stage. And if you really look at it, Booker has been far more critical of Biden uh, for saying, not yeah. about busing, but for saying he can cross the partisan line, do business, and prove I did business with segregationists in the past. That opened a big door. Guess what? Cory Booker did not benefit when Kamala Harris went up in the polls. So does he see this now as his opportunity? 
it's going to be like a pincer movement around Joe Biden. By the way, some polls came out today. And again, Biden is up. I think Biden's up plus nine on everybody. But Marion's um, coming on strong. Oh, your girl, your girl. You got a favorite here. Um, yeah. I'm glad you brought the polls that just came out, Juan, because Donald Trump, up 48% approval rating in the NBC News poll. Just wanted to mention that. Yeah, um, sure. But moving on, Emily, what do you think about this spectacle? All right, so I did in my head winners and losers. And really the only winner that I saw was, was Kamala Harris because CNN is obviously a total loser by that whole debacle. And as you said, they're being rightly mocked. Bernie, Bernie and Elizabeth Warren, basically because of that draw, lost the opportunity to challenge Biden right. on stage. So for them, they're obviously disappointed. And then Biden, I put him in the loser category because he's going against Kamala again and also Booker, right? So he's going to be subjected to mm, likely a lot of attacks. Tier. Yes, based on his racial record, whatever. Um, I think that for him, it would not behoove but a synonym for <laughs> him to defend his record by really not going there because he's, it's going to be death by a thousand cuts. So what he should do is say, look, I'm not here to litigate the past. I'm on the stage to talk about now, you know, starting with a man in the Oval Office. Mm, Let's move good. forward. That's a better strategy. And then for him versus Kamala, it's either... Raiders versus Steelers, early 70s, or is it 1976 <laughs> where the Raiders came back and actually beat them? All right. By the way, so sports analogies. Let, let me just Dana's let, not even here. Let me just go. <laughs> let me just go to the the first night. Uh, because the first night's really interesting to me. I know because you of Marianne. <laughs> is that what it is? She's she's in front. Juan. She's, she's jumped in front of Corey, Kirsten, and somebody else in New That's in right. New Hampshire. I'm telling you, she's the Trump. She's the Trump one. I'll put, we should put a bet on it right now. Wait a minute. Wait okay. A minute. What are she's you going to bet? She's the Trump. You believe that she's going to be president of the United States? She's the wild card. I'm, I'm counting on her getting the nomination. <laughs> really? Uh, cool. uh, it's because, remember, I was wrong on Trump. You're, you're, you're going to back or you're voting for... I was wrong on Trump for, what, a year and a half. So <laughs> don't imagine but, how I Greg feel. Greg is picking up, Greg's picking up what she's putting down. Yes. yes. Well, well, anyway, I think you should open your wallet. Her love has hit me hard, Juan. Anyway, I'm interested First in night. Sanders versus Warren. Do you think they're going to clash? Because they're well, kind of friendly. Well, that's an interesting question. Well, they have because to, they, they, yeah, they, Warren well, should take Sanders, I think, is a little bit of the eyesight of rerun. Warren has lots of ideas and new ideas, but it's the same music, right? Right. And the question is, is there more benefit for them in going after each other or teaming up and saying that Joe Biden, he's the problem, he's the old stuff, and we're the new Or music. focus on Trump the whole time. Right. And then the other lane here is Klobuchar, uh, Bennett of... There's a lane there. Yeah, there is. It's a moderate... It's, it's, I think a, it's, it's, a, it's a 12 like items a or less lane. lane. Yeah. And, and, and Buttigieg. Does Buttigieg prove he belongs? Yeah. Well, he's raised a lot of money, so a lot of other people think that. Uh, Greg, going back to CNN. Right. Uh, okay. <laughs> Forget the candidates. I, I feel like they have an identity crisis. Right. Are they a serious news network? Are they the network on New Year's that everybody gets drunk and then they have these little things like they look like Vegas? Who are they? It's an interesting thing that's happened to them um, because they, they refuse to label whether they're news or commentary. Fox, we do it. We know everybody knows that we're, we've got opinions and we're not, you know, we're not. We're not reporters, right. you know. He, at least we're, we're spouting off opinions. You don't. When you turn on CNN, you have no idea what you're going to get. You'll have a guy report something and then an opinion in the same breath, and then get it wrong, or maybe he gets it right, but you can't tell. It's kind of dishonest, and I think they are. It's a, they are in an identity crisis because they used they used to be something, and I don't right. know what and they are. You have Don Lemon, who's throwing back drink after drink on New Year's and calling Trump, you know what? And now he's the debate moderator. I mean, also, come on, can you don't imagine. Don't slander him for drinking. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You Sorry. and MSNBC use Rachel Maddow in their debates, and then you've got, or the NBC debate, and then now you've got Don Lemon, who is essentially an opinion host, as you just pointed out, being used in CNN. I mean, can you imagine if Fox did something similar? Oh, we did. <laughs> no. Who did we have that was that opinion? I'm not getting into it, but I'm just, <laughs> oh, I, just think, I just think we should be careful on this one. Okay. <laughs>